Most people don't know that the primary elections are actually the most important elections in the electoral process. We have an opportunity this June to unseat Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom doesn't have to make it to the general election in November. People up and down the state have said, I don't feel represented, I don't feel like I have a voice, and Gavin Newsom certainly doesn't represent the interests of the people. I was never engaged in politics. I would say never in capital letters. I never had a clue as to how important a primary was or is, but I sure do now. How we can affect change is to realize three words. We, the people, that's all it is, it's us. As I approach my 70th birthday in the fall, I would say that this is probably the most exciting time for all of us in this country. We have an opportunity to make changes the likes of which we have never seen before. What do I think about Gavin Newsom is that he's a pretty brilliant actor. He's from Central Casting and has been from the get-go. I just know in my heart that his values, his track record, his associates, and where he's getting his direction from are nothing we Californians want to be a part of. It's been really interesting for me with Gavin Newsom I actually didn't really pay attention to him until about two years ago when the whole pandemic started. He is a political actor, and you could see that really show through with French Laundry. You could see that show through with the actions that he was taking. He was caught so many times not wearing his mask, and at the same time telling the rest of California to wear theirs. And the, the needs and the wants of the common Californians really aren't put to the forefront. In the state, what we're seeing is an erosion of the freedoms that we have as Californians, and we're seeing it even nationwide. What I felt in the last two years, having seen what happened with Gavin Newsom and the, the sort of political divide, it actually costed relationships. It created breakdowns in relationships that I had. It, had. it created breakdowns in business relationships that I had. It also became a situation in which being able to share my thoughts freely with other people I had to begin to censor myself out of worry of what might actually happen. I think people not wanting to be engaged in politics is something that was designed because if we stay out of politics, if we don't want to be involved in the discussion between left and right and not being engaged in civic discussion or in um, your community, then everything gets swept under the rug. You don't know what's um, going on in your community when you're not involved in politics. If there's any primary election to be involved in, this is the year. And it doesn't matter whether you are an 18-year-old, whether you are a young adult, whether you are a husband or a wife, a new mother, a new father, and you think, I don't need to be concerned right now. Everything that happens in this primary election will absolutely be an indication of what's gonna happen over the next several years. So many people don't want to get involved because it takes too much time because it takes a lot of research. It takes hours to look up um, their history or their resume, but the truth of the matter is that's what has gotten us into this hole. Just vote. Make sure you tell your friends and neighbors that they need to also get out there and vote. If you've seen people out there that have been discouraged, this is how you answer back. You answer back by putting your name on your ballot and having a chance to say who you want in office. Well, as a small business owner in California, the last two years have been pretty difficult. I think it's important for people to vote in this primary, and I think it's important for people to stop trying to subscribe to Republican or Democrat and just be interested in what actual consequences these policies are gonna have. I would encourage all young people to get informed on how specific policies affect your community, economically and also socially, of course. And we have to provide a safe environment for children, and we have to provide a healthy environment for families. I am not gonna vote for Gavin Newsom. 
I do not believe that we are better off now than we are four years ago. Our beautiful state is crumbling. Um, I've lived here all my life. I honestly don't, sorry. I don't know anything else. My children don't want to leave. They have not known anything else. But I cannot afford to be a single mom here in, in California. I think that if you love this state and that you want to fight for this state, I think that you need to vote this primary election. I believe that Gavin Newsom has his own agenda for the state and his own agenda for the state does not include the people. I believe that for our children, we are our biggest role models. They watch everything that we do. And if you could do anything for them, whether it's for school, whether it's just for their mental health, whether it's for being able to provide for them. They need you more now than ever to vote and show them how it's done to speak up. Californians are finding that they actually agree on a lot more things that, than what the media portrays it to be. And so I've actually find myself surprised at whenever I'm out in the streets that people from all walks of life actually do agree that we want to be happy, we want to do well, we want our children to be safe. But there are things that aren't aligned to support those desires as Californians, like our policies, like our cost of living, and the way we make decisions. If you are tired of voting for the lesser of two evils come November. This is it. This is your chance to do something about it. It's in the primary election coming up here in June 7th. I have a daughter and I want to protect her freedoms and her rights. I fight for the right for justice for all, for all to be able to have um, the rights that they are, are born into and not anything imposed and also to have the freedom to choose. The freedom to choose is huge, and that's what's happening, is the imposition of taking away our freedom of choice in this state. So I think now is the time to get out more than ever, more than ever, is to vote right now and to show that you took an action, that you actually show that you are fighting for to keep this state and keep the freedom and keep away from the corporate interests. And this is where we can make a difference. We have an incredible opportunity right now to change the culture of California and the trajectory of our state. We need folks from all walks of life, from all demographics, to participate in the June 7th primary. Most people don't know that we can vote Gavin Newsom out in the primary election in June. We need to come together to remind our government and our public service officials that they work for the people. Right now, this June 7th primary could not be more important. Make sure that you show up and vote. I am the majority in the middle. 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 I am the majority in the middle.